Hi guys, welcome to my channel. It's Sheila here, Saturday Night Season. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you're having a fantastic day wherever you are. Uh, today's post is a very quick browse through of an actual physical Patronus magazine. I just wanted to take the time to give you a very quick background into this. So my sister went on holiday to Porto in Portugal and whilst she was hanging out at an internet cafe doing her thing as millennials do she noticed that there was a rack with sewing magazines and she was like hang on my sister likes sewing magazines and she recognized Berta and she was like I'm pretty sure she has Berta but she was like I think she might like this and so she bought this to send to me and then the next day she realized that I'd released the video talking about the Patronis subscription and so she was like, oh, she's still going to send it anyway. And so when I received this, I was like, scream, awesome, thank you, which is pretty, pretty awesome. So this one um, didn't come with the subscription that I bought the digital subscription. This is the one before the subscription started. So pretty cool. So we're going to show you some of the Patronius patterns in here, which ones I like and what I'm going to be making. So stay tuned until the end to find that out okay here we go so what i like about patronis is it does a lot of designer aesthetics in there so you kind of get a very strong fashion magazine vibe so for instance this dress here is based on this catwalk design beautiful and they even suggest some fabrics that you can use so <laughs> right off the bat number one dress i like this and i want to try and make this simply because this will be very good for showing me um the ease that you have with the patrones patterns so i have read that the patrones patterns they do come out smaller than other european uh, patterns so it's a good idea to start off with something that's simple like that because with the sleeveless ones you also get a very good idea of how it fits around the arm and i like that sweeping skirt i mean who doesn't love a sweeping skirt and we've got a very beautiful ice cream-esque skirt because to me this looks like a strawberry and vanilla ice cream beautiful colors uh, beautiful fabrics that just makes me think of eating ice cream and then you've got the jacket and the top as well in all of these wonderful pastel -y colors so you've got the blazer and the sizes are 38 42 and 46 so the size range is very limited with patronis which i think is one of the weaknesses of the magazine itself Having said that, however, most people who are fans of Patrones are readily able to grade the patterns by themselves. So it might be worth investing in learning how to grade patterns in order to make some of these uh, patterns that they have. So anyway, so we've got the wrap skirt in the crepe and that's in a 38, 42 and 46. And then over here, we've got an organza top. I have to say, I have... <sighs> I'm a little bit icky about wearing tops like this. I kind of feel like, you know, if you want to show off your skin, show off the skin. You don't need to have it underneath the net or anything like that. And I'm not sure what the comfort level is for these, um, for this type of fabric. But, you know, I guess you don't have to make it in a fabric like this. It does seem to be a solid over the front to cover the important bits, but at the back, um, it's almost kind of backless. <laughs> uh, so that's the blouse there. It's in 38, 42, 46. And then you've got this super long vest, which is very elegant, made in a cream crepe. Super elegant, very chic. And you've got the trousers that have this uh, slit opening um, on this. See if we can... Uh, we don't have a picture of them, but they've got, if you can see on here, it's kind of like they've got a, an, an opening for, really, for you to really kick your shoe forward if need be. So, très elegant, très chic. And then we've got a dress here in the red lace detail, and I think it's really beautiful. It's a size 38, 42 to 46. Now, what I can't tell uh, from the dress itself, especially from the line drawing, is whether there's a center front seam or that's just the fabric itself. So sometimes with the line drawings here in Patrones, it can be a little bit confusing as to whether they're drawing in the fabric parameters or is the actual seam lines. Because when I'm looking at here, I can tell that this 
has something to do with the nature of the fabric itself. It doesn't look like it's a trim or anything like that. It looks like it could be the edge of a fabric. I don't know, but either way, it's got a really beautiful silhouette. And then we've got a simple dressing gown here in chiffon, but it's been made fancy with some silver trimming on the sizes. And as you can see, as you're walking, you're just kind of like billowing, almost like you're an elf, you know, in Lord of the Rings or something like that. And you have the outfit put together. Um, I like the dress without the you know, without the billowy morning gown. And then we've got a beautiful uh, party gown, party dress here with a twist front detail and it's been made in a chiffon, which requires a lot of press, um, patience. Sorry, it's not a party gown, party dress. It kind of looks like it from the front, but it's actually a jumpsuit, which is a nice take on a jumpsuit, by the way, having this little flap over it that makes it look like it is a gown. Fantastic. I like the sweeper earrings over there, the broom broom brush earrings i loved this whole outfit by the way this really spoke to me the skirt simple skirt with the flounce at the bottom burden 9 2020 has got a similar type skirt in it and just an oversized shirt who doesn't love an oversized shirt especially for like hot summery days i thought that this was um, a really good realization of an outfit uh, together I would make this shirt if I had the fabric like this because I think that the fabric is quite nice. It's like a giant Swiss dot uh, fabric. So both of these are available in a size 38, 42 and 46. As far as I can tell, my Patronus size is a 40, uh, whereas with Berta I'm a size 48. Okay, and then we've got a sequined uh, simple kimono top in 38, 42, 46 again. And then we've just got a simple dress that's cut on the bias. And I quite like this. I think that this would be a great um, dress to have, especially if made in a linen or a silk, kind of especially in summer on hot sunny days and you just kind of want to look a little bit classy, but also stay cool. And I like that. Although I'm getting flashbacks of a similar style in Berda. I might have to look through my Berdas to make sure that um, I can make it from that. And then we're going completely post-modernistic with this top here, where it's completely deconstructed a shirt and done some funky draping. Somebody had a lot of fun with draping this, and I can't even make sense of the line drawing itself. But as you can see here, it's a one shoulder, and it almost looks like this was once a collar that has been cut away. So a lot of fancy stuff ha happening in here. Definitely a super advanced style for somebody who wants to challenge themselves. And some beautifully tailored high-waisted pants here that don't have a waistband, but they have a facing and they have a great fit. I mean, if I were to make trousers, I'd love to make trousers like this. Now, both of these are in a size 40, 44 and 48. As I said, the sizes are really um, all over the place a little bit because they only do three sizes for each pattern. And it's the lack of the draw as to whether the pattern that you like is going to be in your exact size. And how cool is this? A trench coat made out of an embroidered lace fabric. I thought that I've never seen this before. I was just like, wow, that is really cool stuff, Patronis. Keep it up. And then there's this really wonderfully simple dress that's perfect for summer. And it's sort of like a um, pointy, diamondy shape and a simple halter neck uh, detail. I've got some lovely satin fabric in a pineapple print that I've been very precious about that I think would be perfect for this. These two are available in a 40, 44, and a 48. And what's um, attracting me to this pattern as well, it is saying costura facile, which means it's an easy pattern. Fingers crossed. And I loved this. I loved the vintage 50s vibes that I got from the halter neck style and the full bust gathers here down to the cinched in waist. And then you've got the open back. I definitely thought that this is something that I would take and make, especially that upper bodice bit. And it's available in a size 40, 44 and 48. We have some beautiful red, bright red, tomato red um, Bermuda suits, which according to Vogue, 
as opposed to be in season. So beautifully tailored here. Just just the tailoring level, you know, makes me feel inspired to up my sewing game. Just look at those double weld pockets. Beautiful, fantastic tailoring. Both of these come in sizes 40, 44, and 48. And even the styling on this fabulous necklace, earrings, everything is just picking each other up. It's like, mm, 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 mm. makes me want to wear a Bermuda shorts suit. <laughs> and then we have a lovely, almost peasant style uh, top with a uh, portrait neckline, I want to say, and a center front button placket. Size is 40, 44, and 48. And we have, oh, mm -mm, mm -mm, girl, no, 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 no. These belong on cushions or on rugs. They don't belong on skirts. This is all nice mm, without that. Enough said about that. And how cute is this top? Again, this one's giving me some vintage vibes as well. It's a deep V-neck, really giving the impression of a full bust, especially as it cinches into the waist. I can see this one being a popular one. It looks like it's got some shearing as well. So shearing always equals uh, comfort, I think. So because shearing is easy to expand in it. It's awesome. And then we've got the trousers that can also look like a little bit of a skirt at the front. Not a big fan of that. Personally, I kind of think, you know, um, if you're going to be a trouser, be a trouser. If you want to be a skirt, um, be a skirt. I'm not sure what the benefit is of having sort of like an asymmetrical flap uh, at the front over there and then this is my favorite section of any patronis magazine where they take a catwalk look and they interpret it to create their own pattern thereby giving you the home seamstress the opportunity to make your own catwalk look and over here we've got a flapper style dress with an asymmetrical pleating and yeah somebody had a lot of fun with the sequin fabrics here um, yeah, it's, it's really va -va -va -vum for cocktails, I think. And then this one's a little bit more subdued and, um, possibly will be more popular because of these darts, these really long line darts, which make it easy to fit. The more, um, the more lines you have, the more seams you have, the better able you are to get it to contour around the body. So I think that this would be very popular. A nice jacquard type, uh, type fabric. So both of these are available in sizes 40, 44, and 48. And then here we've got another interpretation on a one-shoulder uh, dress by Pamela Rowland. And it's been made in a sequin over here. Simple pattern. And then here by Cynthia Rowley, I think is it? Either Cynthia, Cynthia Rowley or some, somebody else. Although they, they've gone from a suit into a dress. And this one is mainly your copying the look just based on the fabric itself. So this is another problem that I sometimes have with their line drawing. So if you look at this line drawing, it's actually showing you, um, I don't know, some, some lines on there. So when I see these lines, the smaller lines on the inside, it makes me think that that means that there's supposed to be some stitching or whatever, but they're actually showing the pattern details of the actual print itself, which uh, I'm not sure you're supposed to be putting stuff like that um, on there. Um, personally. And then we've got a simple jumpsuit wrap over with uh, two statement buttons along the waist. Lovely addition and a blazer, a short cropped blazer, very minimalist because it doesn't have a lap, uh, no, it does have a lapel. It only looks minimalist because it's kind of like, like, but yeah, it's overall a good look. And this one is in a size 50, 54, 58 for both of these. And then we've got the pattern sheets and we've got the pattern sheets right in the middle of the magazine. Very similar to English Birda. Uh, we've got a simple blazer top and a... I always think of this as an Anderson top because the first time I ever saw it was on the actress Gillian Anderson. But it looks like a tucked in wrap uh, top. You can't really see it here because it's been tucked under the pleated skirt. But beautiful, classy, 
classy outfit over here. Uh, these ones are in sizes 50, 54, and 58. And then we have what looks like an infinity style dress. Um, I've seen these being advertised all over the place. But beautiful popping color, by the way. The turquoise is just bam, uh, stunning. And they've used the pleated fabric, which gives it a lot of shaping. And you've got sort of like the crisscross um, over, over the front there. So yeah, it's like a goddess. It's like a Greek goddess type dress. And then you've got the kids uh, section, which is baby stuff going covering from uh, one to three to six months. So super, super, super baby, <laughs> basically. And then we've got the line drawings over here. And you have your instructions. And, all, and so, yeah, this is what we have with this particular issue of Patrones. Very excited to be making that first dress over here because that's going to really show me what is what with Patrones. Now it's your turn. Let me know what you like from this issue. Are you going to be making anything from this issue of Patrones? Or have you made anything from Patrones recently? Let me know in the comments box down below. And until I see you next time, guys. Happy sewing. Bye.